Okay, freaks. I just got a um, an alert, a wallet alert saying Dom um, down here transferred 90 ETH. Um, so I clicked it, and um, it looks like he sent it to a wallet address. So I clicked that, and um, there it is. Sent it to a wallet address, and then the, from that new wallet, he cashed it out to Coinbase. Didn't know that, so I was going to um, add this address to my my wallets that I follow for alerts. Um, since I owe you a video on that, I'll go ahead and do that, and then I'll just remove it. Um, so right now, um, I'm using. Uh, that's a good question. Which one am I using? Cryptocurrencyalerting.com. Um, it's three ninety nine. Just go through the uh, the sign up process, and um, if you want something like this, and um, it's it's real simple uh, to sign up. So you know, I use it so I can track some of the big wells and get notifications immediately once they transact. Um, for instance, uh, shoot, Friday or something, Gary V bought or started buying up a bunch of flower flower power. Um, or Flower Girls NFTs. Um, was able to alert the community about 25 minutes before he alerted um, everybody on Twitter. Um, so it's a good opportunity um, to get in on a project before the pump goes. Um, I used to, you know, in, in stocks, um, I used to look for, for activity just through volume um, that looked like insiders were loading before, you know, news would come out or whatever. Um, so it's nice because in crypto you don't need to do that you you can just follow wallets and you know they can get tricky with wallets so you you um you um you know sometimes have to go through ether scan to find different ones but um yeah so okay so we're we're in in here um we want to follow a, a wallet so what we're going to do is we're going to um go to on chain wallet watch there we go. And then um, this is our wallet watch alert. So it says send me and um, so this is where you can select like how you want to get notified. Um, there's all sorts of all sorts of things as you see. Um, for now, I'm, I'm sending them to um, a discord channel. Um, so I'm going to select discord and then it's on the Ethereum blockchain and the wallet address I'm going to paste in there. And then I want to know when um, the wallet D just changes in value because I, I kind of want to see all their activity. It's not like it takes time um, to look at a transaction. It's just a, a few seconds. So when you can get an idea for how they're moving money around too um, and what they're selling and all that stuff. So I'm going to see all of it. Um, I'm going to name it, um, who was this, Dom um, 2 because I already have a Dom 1. And then, uh, yeah, I don't disable any of it or any of that. So um, details, you don't need anything there. Options, so I'll set the alert. Alert created. Okay, so I set it to Discord, but how does it know where to put it in Discord? Um, so what you're gonna do for that is, let's see, we got to go to, Discord bot maybe? Yeah, there we go. So you go to um, Discord bot up here and you know, right here is where you could you could do all your other things. Um, but Discord, so it wants you to put a URL in. So we're gonna go to Discord and then say, you know, um, what, what I need is a, a webhook. So I'm gonna figure out where I want those alerts to go. I'm gonna go to that channel in Discord. I'm gonna hit the, the settings and then I'm gonna come down to integrations and then there's webhooks. So view webhooks, right? You can do a new webhook, um, name it, whatever you want, select the channel you want it to go in and then copy the webhook URL. And then you're gonna go back to this and you're going to paste the URL and you're gonna set it. Um, so from then on, anytime a transaction is made with that wallet, it will 
send it to this URL, which is, um, I guess you probably can't see this, actually. Um, in case you couldn't see that, uh, what I did is I, I clicked copy URL um, once I was in the integrations. Um, and once I copied it, I went, I went to the uh, website and pasted it here. Anyways, so it's going to, um, yeah, it's going to send now. Anytime there's a transaction um, from that wallet, it's going to send into this channel that, that I selected. So I would save it and you can see right here, this is kind of what it looks like. Um, I can hit the view transaction and it'll pop me up to Etherscan. And from here I can see exactly what it was. Dom sent um, something to this address. What he sent was 90 ETH. Um, so not a lot of value in this transaction, but you can see, you know, like a NFT transaction would look like this view transaction. Yep. And you can see there that he um, traded, meaning he, he bought um, from this address to this address, one token ID of corruptions. Um, if you don't know what corruptions are, you could click corruptions. Um, you can go up to the contract, you can copy the address. You can run it over to OpenSea, paste it in the top address bar, and then the collection will come up. You click the collection and voila. There we go. So he, he's buying his own NFTs. It's probably probably a pretty bullish sign. Um, I own a couple, but that's it. That's that's how you set up a, a wallet alert. It's pretty simple um, and very valuable. So I suggest you do it. It's three ninety nine dollars um, a month to uh, follow up to 20 wallets on um, on that website, which is, and I, and I looked around for free ones. This is the cheapest website I could find. CryptocurrencyAlerting.com. So you can see it up here. All right. Thanks for following.